So it's gonna be our first real time at Universal. Finishing Ryan's bedroom. It's me, Christian. We got some fast passes. I still have a few things to do before I'm ready for the big reveal. That stuff is gas. I just shared with everybody the new bedroom. I'm taking a 10 out of 10. That was honestly amazing. Good morning everyone, from Universal. Uh, I'm here on a complete limb. After camp, I went to a weekend camp. Um, my buddy Christian was in Orlando at Universal. So I wanted to swing by and see him because the camp was right by there. Uh, long boring story short, we bargained to stay. So I stayed overnight in this room with the voice. This is Christian, say hi. I guess. <laughs> um, so I am with uh, their family right now. It is Monday morning and we're gonna go to the parks today. It's my second time ever at Universal, but I was really young the first time and we didn't really do everything. So it's gonna be our first real time at Universal. Uh, we're going to, what's it called, Adventureland? Island of Adventure somewhere. Island of Adventure, Island of Adventure. it's supposed to be uh, a lot of roller coasters. You know me, I'm a big roller coaster guy. It's gonna be so much fun. Can't wait to take you guys along. We'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna go out and eat breakfast right now. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, we are working on the final. Hey, hi, Mike. Hello, it's another day in which you excel, Jilly. It is. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, do you ever get tired of excelling? It just gets old after a while. <laughs> but we never stop. That's when I lay around. <laughs> wow, you did it already? How about that? That was super fast. Okay, you guys, we are working on finishing Ryan's bedroom. Ryan is right now at Universal Studios with his friend Christian, and Must he. Be nice. I know. And we've been wanting to finish his room and reveal it for quite a while now, but things have gotten in the way. We've been to Disney World, we've been to the Navy UCF game, we Ryan went to camp, we've done so many things that just keep getting in the way. So, anyway, um,. We've decided, Ryan wanted to finish his room, like he wanted to be able to put up all the pictures and all that stuff, but we decided we just have to do it. We're doing it, so we did it, and we're gonna surprise him when he comes home from camp with his fully redone room. And the good news is, Brennan and Katie come home tomorrow, so Brennan will get to see his room too. It's, good news is it's actually about, I don't know, a quarter of Brennan's room, maybe three-eighths Brennan's room, is that more than a quarter? Yes, it is. Uh, so he'll get to see his room too. Michael, Hello. what do you think? You happy with it? I have some sawdust in my eyes. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. The very last thing that we had to do, or that Mike did, was to make the this light, like the, hi, Alice, make the cord of the light go down behind there. So we had to move the shelf out and put it down there. So I'm going to tie that line, that uh, wire up, and we are going to be just about done with this room. Let's do a little bit of cleaning and have it ready to go. So I'm very excited. Hopefully Ryan is vlogging from Universal. He's there with his friend Christian. Oh my gosh, such a great um, story. We'll tell you about that in just a second. All right, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Me and the guides, we're in the park right now. It's me, Christian. We got some fast passes. We're all walking to the Island of Adventure. We're going on a bunch of roller coasters. Me and Christian are the only two like roller coaster junkies here. Zach, Zach, are you going on roller coasters with us? Shoot, I don't know. He, okay, we're gonna try to convince him to go on roller coasters with us. We're gonna go off. Um, do a bunch of rides. The Velocicoaster I've heard is insane, so we're gonna try to get on that. We're gonna try to convince Zach to come with us. It's gonna be fun. Let's do it. Alright y'all, first ride. Doctor Doom. Uh, it's like a drop tower, so it's gonna be fun. So, can I film on the ride? Can I try? Alright. Can you try? Just set, Actually, set no. up in the box. <laughs> <laughs> just like, see this jet up and down. All right, first ride, Dr. Joe, me and Chris are absolutely good. All right, so we couldn't film on it because you had to put your phone in a locker for it. But me and Christian, for the second ride, we just said Hulk. You can see it right behind me. It's that big green one. It was absolutely insane. We have these little fast passes uh, to use, but you can't use them on certain rides like Blossom Coaster and like Mummy because those are, I guess, the most popular ones. Oh, but right. we could use them on Hulk. So we fast pass Hulk and. Uh, we're gonna side. Where are we going next? I don't know. We gotta check there is a top. water coaster that could be clutch today because it's low key hot. So we might hit that. We might hit Lost Coaster. Maybe Mummy. Who knows? We'll keep y'all posted. So you guys, we are almost finished with Ryan's room and I am so, so happy with what we've been able to do and the money we've been able to save while doing it. It becomes a challenge for me to try to not buy retail all the while 
trying to find unique finds. And that certainly spills over into how I shop for everything, including wireless service. I recently switched to Mint Mobile and you can too. You might already know Mint Mobile if you've seen those funny ads from Ryan Reynolds, who is also an owner. Have you guys seen those? Anyway, we are partnering with them on today's video to bring you premium wireless for as low as $15 a month. And you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They are built on the nation's largest 5G network and they keep costs low because they sell directly to you online. They cut out the retail stores and the salespeople. So you shouldn't have to pay more and I shouldn't have to pay more for access to the same network, should we? So switching to Mint was super simple. They have digital eSIM cards and you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from home. No, wait, no need to wait in those huge lines at the big wireless stores. I was able to keep my current device and phone number and easily switch services. And my phone wasn't eSIM e compatible. So they shipped me a new SIM card free of charge. It was super simple to put in. And it was like, wow, this is really cool. And their packaging is adorable too. <laughs> All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G and free mobile hotspot. Mint will show you how much data you use each month and recommend plans to save you money. And they also offer a modern family plan that lets you set up a super simple, affordable family plan with as little as two lines. And as an added savings bonus right now, if you purchase a three-month plan between November 14th and January 15th, you'll receive an additional three months free using my link, mintmobile.com backslash the Donnellys. The link is also in the description and includes all plans, including the unlimited. So do what I do to save money on my bills and start saving big with Mint Mobile. And I cannot wait to show you how I've saved money in Ryan's room, redoing the whole thing from doing D DIY, building our own beds to buying things on Facebook Marketplace. So stay tuned. As you can see, I still have a few things to do before I'm ready for the big reveal. But by the end of this video, we will be revealing Ryan and Brennan's new room. Okay, so we made our way over to Harry Potter World, as you can see behind us. I've watched like the first three. I was asking Christian, he's seen a couple of them. I know you guys are some like huge Harry Potter fans, or some of you guys are huge Harry Potter fans. So don't get offended but we don't know what butterbeer is but we hopped in line because it sounded gas so we're gonna get some butterbeer and then ride the hogwarts ride or the hagrid hagrid's motorbike hagrid's motorbike it sounds gas so we're gonna do it um we'll update you on how good butterbeer is i don't know i'm skeptical right now all right you boys got some butterbeer christian got the frozen version i got the regular version we asked the guy what did the guy say it was butterscotch and strawberry. okay it sounds gas let's go try it Oh, word? Oh, word? I don't think I drank it. What do you mean you don't think you drank it? Oh my god. Dude, that stuff. Look at the stash. Look at the stash. That stuff is gas. Nine and a half out of six. Nine point six. Nine point six. Christian, what did you do? Nine four. Nine four? Good stuff. Highly recommend. We're getting it. Although it was like eight bucks. Alright. We're gonna ride some Haggard. Let's go. All right, you guys, I think I'm as close as I'm going to get for a long time, <clears throat> or in a long time, for having the bedroom be done. So this is Ryan's bedroom. We've started this, I'm embarrassed to say, probably about a month and a half ago. Um, but we finally got it to a point where it looks awesome. I'm so very excited about it. Oh, wait, let me turn. I got a few more lights to turn on. Hold on one second. Stay with me. I'm going to hold you really close so you can't see. Hold on. Not that you can't see, but just so it get the full effect. Okay, okay, ready? So this is the deal. I will show you before pictures. And here are the after pictures, ready? Okay, I have to say, it is so much cleaner and so much more organized than it was before. It is, I love the colors, I love the, um, the minimalist sort of-ness of it. I will start over here. This used to be a dresser over here. We removed the dresser. 
and I told you I was going to tell you how I saved a bunch of money. We bought this desk on Facebook Marketplace. We bought this chair on Facebook Marketplace. We inherited this when we moved in. We bought just a new um, a lamp shade. It's gray to match the room. We painted the walls ourselves, of course, when the room was a, when we originally moved into the house. Um, up here, we bought these at Target. These are Target pictures, and that I think, oh gosh, that's what that's the first item we bought for this room um, when we moved in last year. I believe that might have been Home Goods, but it might have been Target. I'm not sure. I got this seventy five percent off at Hobby Lobby. Ryan is an absolute, you know, he loves golf, right? So this picture, I hope you can see it with it. Wait, let me turn this off so it's not so glary glary. This is a picture of the, it's called Amen Corner, and it is at Augusta Golf Course, and Ryan wanted this picture. This picture was hanging up in his work when he worked in Maryland at the golf course where he worked. He wanted that picture so bad, and he asked them if they were selling it. They're like, no, we're not selling it. It's part of our decor. Lo and behold, a whole like year and a half later, I find it at Hobby Lobby for 75% off. I think I might have paid like $10 for it. I'm so excited. So I got that for him. And then um, he had this from before, but this is his desk. So we love that. Then the beds, the bunk beds were not in here when we originally bought the house, but my father put these together. Now, you know, he, I can't say he put them together. It wasn't a kid or anything. He built these. He built them from scratch. So um, that was such a blessing and such a nice thing for him to do for us. So we have those. So we didn't have to buy, I mean, we bought the wood and everything. And, and of course, Pep Pep's labor. But that was a DIY project from my dad. And what else? So we have this over here. This we did buy retail. This is Ikea. I think this might have cost us about $19 or $24, something like that, for that shelf. We were going to do a piece of furniture there, but it was so much less expensive to do the shelf, and the shelf was the perfect function and allowed it to be sort of a minimalist room as well. It really fit with the design. We brought this lamp in from home, from Maryland, brought that down, and then this guy right here, we got at Home Goods. We found him and we love him. But I will say, I am hesitating, like there's storage in there. I think he's great because he matches and he's like a really cool piece. But I have to say, we were gonna get rid of this guy. He's a huge bean bag that you can unzip and make him into a bed. I think I would actually prefer with the size of the room to keep him and just buy a cover for him that is navy blue move him over there and return that piece. So I think we're going to do, I think we get more, more use out of it too, because this can open up to a bed and I think more people would sit on this. It moves around easily. That does not move around easily. I, I think we might do that. So that's why I left him in here. That kind of looks funny with them both, but I left it in here because I thought I would ask you guys what your opinion is as well. And then these beds over here, we got these at Target. I got these with Kohl's Cash from Kohl's. Got this from Amazon, and Ryan already had this. He got this for Christmas last year, and there, of course, is Doggy. So we have all four of these beds matching with their pillows and the matching um, blankets. I can't wait for Brennan to see this room. He comes home from college tomorrow, and he's going to see it. He's going to be so excited. And then this guy right here, we in we I wouldn't say we inherited. We actually purchased that from the people that were moving out because we liked that piece so much. So we purchased that from them for, I don't even know, it was a package deal. So, I mean, we might have paid $20, $25, but it is solid wood and heavy. It is a beautiful dresser. So I absolutely love it. And then, of course, some decorations and things that came from the other house for Ryan. So, oh, and we bought the mirror and our big splurge. I did splurge on that. That is the ceiling fan. Um, I absolutely love that, and I think that it really makes the room um, with those pictures over there, the desk, the black, white, and navy blue. Really, really, that makes the room 
nice. The last thing we have not done yet, but I do want to do is I'm going to do some shiplap, I think, along here. And then I want to put a big R there and then in probably like metal and then shiplap against here as well and a big B for Brennan. So you guys, that is the room. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you have any suggestions, if you would change anything, what you particularly like or don't like about it let me know as well if you think i should do this because i think that would be look at it's just oh it's the best it's such a great piece and i think that uh, ryan would really love hanging out with it and and with his friends as well so thank you so much for um hanging in there during this renovation when we make the final finals i'll show you those but uh, for otherwise i am very very pleased with what has gone on here and it's just so much sleeker and nicer people had been asking about this and saying why don't you paint it black so it matches everything i just can't get myself to do that i am you know i'm a diyer i'll paint anything but this piece is just so nice and it's solid again it's solid wood and there are black accents on it like this is a black accent there's black accents through here so I feel like it does still match I don't know it might stick out but it's I don't know I just I just can't make that commitment yet but in the meantime I think everything else looks nice so anyway that's my DIY budget friendly room makeover for Ryan and Brennan's room and uh, I look forward to hearing how you like it. And I'm so excited to show it to Ryan tomorrow when he gets home and to Brennan when he comes back for college. So speaking of that, I will say, so Ryan comes home tomorrow. I'm going to go pick him up from, he's at Universal with his friend Christian. Yo! Uh, one, one Haggard's motorbike! What? Alright, just finished. Christian, how would you rate that ride? It was probably a 9 out of 10. I'm taking a 10 out of 10. That was honestly was, amazing. I'm not even the biggest Harry Potter fan, that was amazing. Look, it was worth the wait. There's a unicorn right there, too. You'll see that every day. Alright, 10 out of 10. Uh, that was like a two and a half hour wait, though. So, we're really tired and we're really hungry. We're gonna go eat some food at the NBC Sports Bar Grill. It's on City Walking Universal uh, with the rest of the fam. And then uh, we're heading back out because we got park hour tickets. So we're going over to the other park, Universal Studios. Can't wait. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And what made me happy today was finishing Ryan's room. It was so great. It was such, a, I'm just so happy with the way it looks. So I really hope you enjoy it. And also what made me happy today was getting pictures and everything from Ryan and from my friend Tara, who's Christian's mom, sending me pictures from Universal of all the fun that they're having. It just looks like they're having an absolute blast. And I'm just so happy that he got to reunite or uh, see Christian again and Christian's family for this amount of time so I know he really misses them and it's good to have them together and especially who doesn't love going to a park like that with your friend so that's definitely what made me happy so I just shared with everybody the new bedroom I'm so excited you should go look at it looks better than even when you saw it before really? it's all cleaned up I and everything look, yeah. you should go up and look I'm I love it it's so great what made you happy today well thank you for asking Jilly what made me happy today was um, that's a good question. There's a lot of things. It was very warm today, which mm, is nice. Finally. Um, yes. Uh, your mom's soup made me happy today. Oh, okay. She it over. It was fantastic. Excellent. We did. She made ham and bean soup. Oh! Mom keeps regaling us with wonderful recipes, leftovers. She makes too much. It's so good. It was so good. That's a good point. All right. All right. Now we're going to say goodbye. Kind of I cool think what made you happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.